welcome to Technically Speaking from EBR's EdTech team. We invite you to join us on this podcast to talk techie with us. Welcome back to Technically Speaking from EBR's EdTech team. We invite you to join us every month on this podcast to talk techie with us. We are your host, Brittany Davenport. And I'm Nikki Washington. And as usual, we're going to start this off with a little tech tea to keep you in the know of all the trending news in tech. So what is the tea this week, Nikki? Well, let's talk about how you can transition your morning announcements because, you know, as teachers, we program ourselves to tune out and block out that intercom. So we really don't hear anything and neither do our kids. Exactly. So it's 2022. We could put a little oomph on our announcements and make them more meaningful and actually make it to where people will actually listen to them. So we say you should use things like Google Meet to make your morning announcements and make them video to make them engaging and interactive for the teachers and the students. Do you think about that? I think that's an awesome idea, especially um, because on Google Meet, you can record. So students that's not there or teachers that's not there, they can get those morning announcements and they won't miss anything. So if they don't have time or they ran to the restroom real quick, they can come back and they can watch those um, announcements later. Yeah, but then they don't have to come back and ask you what was said or if you missed right. anything <laughs> because of the noise. You know, some classes are louder than others and they may have missed <laughs> something or they had to step out. So that way you don't have to, it eliminates all of the questions. Well, what did she say? What do we have to do? That's your evidence right there of everything that was in the announcements. And if you even send it to the parents, if you would like to. Right. And you can also get the students involved. So you can have the students start practicing those speaking skills by coming up and they can do the announcements and they can stand in front of the camera. And then it becomes more student led than teacher led or principal led and everyone gets involved. Awesome. I like that idea. And they can even I was just thinking as you were saying that. They can make this a to you can make a little production team and they can do some green screening yeah. if you have that type of club and you have that equipment or if there's something you guys are thinking about or interested in doing and getting those students buy in that want to do that. I'm sure there will be some students that would want to do that. So definitely think about that as well. Yes. All right, you guys. Well, that's our tech tea. We would like you to consider doing morning announcements with videos. Let us know how it goes. Right. Invite us so that we can watch it as well. All right, you guys, let's get into our main topic today. This is a hot topic here at EBR right now. We're getting a lot of help desk tickets, emails, comments, and concerns. We need all of your, you guys' help, and we need you to do this every year. We actually even need you to do this right now <laughs> if you have not done it at the end of last school year. We need to make sure that all of you guys are archiving your Google Classrooms and your Go Guardian Classrooms. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you're not doing that, you're leaving your classroom doors open. And that's just like leaving your students in the class and you step outside or you go to the restroom and no one's watching them. You know they're going to be doing things. So we need you guys to make sure when you're doing your end of the year closeout that you add these to your things to do. Archive your Google Classroom and archive your Go Guardian class. So reason being... I was about to say, why do they need to do it? So tell us why, because because I think a lot of people don't realize how mm -hmm. much they are... Um, causing problems when they don't yes, do it's it. It's a big impact on our district right now. So for instance, we have like right now, we have the situation where we have so many kids, especially that transition from middle school to high school that have, they're still being controlled and go guardian by their middle school teachers. And right. they don't remember the middle school teacher's name. <laughs> and they're trying to do things at their high school Uh, courses or their high schools and they're being blocked and it's at certain times because those middle school teachers have set up a scene or something so it's blocking them from doing their assignments and things that they need to do which is causing the students to get fall behind on their work so with that being said please make sure that you archive those classes because you have to think about it that affects the kids in the future yeah, right now at that present time when they were in your class, it, it was helpful for you. But by archiving it, 
for the next year that's helping the next the student, I should say, and the next teacher. So right now we're having a problem with trying to figure out, okay, who was your teacher? Then we have to go back and look and see, okay, is the teacher still here? All of that great stuff. So you guys, it's very important to archive your Go Guardian classes. Also, if a student drops, remove them from your class. I was remove them from your Google Classroom, that. remove them from your Go Guardian class. Right. Because even though they're not moving on to another grade level, they're also at another school right now. And that's causing them so many issues. So just check your Google Classrooms. Make sure, like a regular classroom, make sure that there's no extra students in your classroom. And make sure that you are not blocking these students from doing things that they need to do in other classes. Yes, because it's, it's like, it's, a, it's hard for us to backtrack how, who, who all the teachers are and go back in, in your scenes and close it down. We don't want to have to do anything <laughs> like crazy and shut it all down. But you, so you guys, I know you can help us with this. Make sure you archive your classes in Google Classroom and Go Guardian. Also make sure you drop your students in those classes as they leave, as Mrs. Davenport said, because they're going to a new school, new rules. They, that new teacher may say you can have 20 tabs maximum. So <laughs> you may only have limit them to three. So we have to be mindful of those things and those settings that we have for those students. That's fine. It's your classroom. Set your settings how you want. You've seen all of that great stuff. Set it how you want. But also be mindful when the students transfer and they move from place to place. You are affecting them if you have them still in those classes. So just be mindful of that. And let's... Um, make sure we're courteous of our fellow teachers and we make sure we remove those students and close those old classes so that they're able to, you know, do what they need to do without any problems because it takes us a long time to go back and figure out who is the old teacher and go into the account and remove the students. So we will be so happy if you guys <laughs> would start doing that. And that's just, it takes about two minutes out of your life to archive both the Google, one minute for Google Classroom and one minute for Go Guardian to archive those at the end of the school year. Even when you're teaching summer school, do that as well. Because also, Ms. Davenport with the uh, Google Classrooms, I know you teachers like to remove the students and keep that same classroom. That's not a good practice. We, right. like, we would like you to archive those classes because you still have all of those documents and resources in your Google Drive. We'd like you to archive, fully archive those classes. Your materials are still in your drive and start a new class each year. That is the proper protocol that we uh, should be following for our Google classrooms as well, because that may be how some of the kids are getting left in those old classes and right. then in the old Go Guardian classes. So you'll hear more information from us throughout the school year. We remind you at the end of the school year about this task. So we need your guys, you need your help with this task. Just this one thing, we would greatly appreciate it so that our students can, you know, do their work and not get in trouble for not turning in their work or be blocked from work and then they have to go home and catch up in the classwork. So help us out with that, you guys. We, we will appreciate it. All right. And tell a friend because I know everyone in the district will not be hearing this podcast. So if you hear this, please tell your fellow co-workers to do the same thing. It will be greatly appreciated. Yes. All right. Well, that wraps up our show for today. Thank you for listening to us. And we will be back next month with some brand new material. All right. See you guys next month. Bye.